to rounding up, we will now format the hardcover of this particular book. So to go ahead with creating the cover of this hardcover, you simply follow the same process as the paperback. So you come to kdp.amazon.com forward slash cover hyphen calculator. But in this case, instead of paperback, we change this to hardcover. The interior type, you can still leave it on black and white. Paper type, still on cream paper. Page turn direction, still on left to right. Inches being the measurement units. Interior trim size, don't forget we use 5.5 .5 by 8.5. Then the page count still remains 79. And after you have done all of this, you simply click on calculate dimensions for it to now bring up the exact dimensions we now need for this hardcover. So what I simply need to do is to download the template, then extract it just like I did for the paperback, return to Canva and repeat the same process. So I'm not going to show again how I'm I will extract the file. Instead, I will show you how I will use that file to create the cover for this hardcover of our book. So, returning to Canva, remember how we were able to get the dimensions for our paperback? In this case, the dimensions for our hardcover is 12.961 on the width and 9.917 on the height. So I'll change this to 12.961 on the width and 9.917 on the height. So 9. 0.917 on the height. Remember that this has to be inches. Then click on create new design. So by clicking on create new design, I am creating an entirely new canvas that I will now use for creating my hardcover for publishing. So now that I have my canvas being created, I will quickly ensure that I have my extracted file also ready for this process. All right, now that it's been uploaded, I'll click on it and add it right here on my canvas. So next, I will simply, like the paperback, just zoom and stretch it to the edges like this, like that. And that with that, I am good to go. The next thing I want to now do is put in my covers. So I'll put the front cover like this. Then I would want to bring it to this point like this, to the edge, the top like this, here like this. To ensure that um, it fits so I'll zoom in like this and like this now the difference between having your paperback and hardcover is that the size of the paperback and hardcover are totally different while your cover can fit smoothly on the paperback you have to use some width and creativity to be able to really get this hard cover design properly. So you see that if I do my design like this and I check, you see that my, the author's name is already touching the line there. So this book might not be accepted if I publish it like this. So, or I can decide to just adjust it like this to ensure that it does not stay in the way 
the, the the author's name or the title of the book does not stay in the way of any part of this book so if i have something like this this can still work but to be on the safer side what i would advise is what i'm going to do right now like i do on virtually all the books i publish so um turn back this transparency then what you should simply do aim for this book cover to fit mainly the white space like this right just aim for this like this just do it like this don't worry i will tell you what next to do do that for the front cover then bring the back cover as well and do the same for the back cover just make sure it fits in these white spaces like this like this just make sure it fits like this and like that so check that this barcode can still stay comfortably on this back cover so you just change the transparency you see that the back code is comfortably sitting there fantastic so now what you should do next is thankfully this has the same color across boards both the front and the back so what i usually do is i will simply duplicate either the front or the back cover like this then i will crop this to ensure that i have only the part where there's no text then i simply just you know rotate this so that i can have a more vertical shape than horizontal then what i'll simply do is i'll drag to the edges like this okay do the same like this then drag like this so that everything completely covers the cover right so what i will now do next is i'll right click on this and click on layer then send to back now this is what you have don't worry when you do this the next thing you want to now do is click on this template that we have initially put and then delete that file so once you delete that file you will be left with this now with this you have the perfect file that you can upload for your hardcover now if you notice let me revert the size we have here this size of this spine is a bit large enough for a spine to stay so let me zoom in so that you see what i'm saying this is a bit large enough for a spine to stay so um i have not got any spine yet for this book but what i can do just to explain to you is that i will duplicate this let me just use this as a sample so let's assume that this is the spine for this book right let's assume this is the spine for this book yes so all i need to do is to just i'll just move this spine and make sure that it fits exactly inside that box just like this ensure that it fits exactly inside that box and make sure that the text inside that spine do not touch this do not go outside this white space make sure it is it fits correctly in the white space like this if you not go outside it if it goes outside it you may end up getting your or cover rejected right so since i don't have any for this and i don't want this to just look so shabby and unprofessional i'll delete that then again delete this and i have my back cover ready for publishing amazon i hope this is clear so this is what i'm going to use for my hardcover all i need to do next is to click on share then go to download then change the file type to pdf print pdf print and then click on flatten pdf and download so once this gets downloaded i have all the covers i need to publish kindle paperback and hardcover so next i'm going to show you how to publish your books on amazon kdp